Oh hey, didn't see you there. Are you still writing with a pen and paper like a complete idiot? Well, not anymore. After today's tutorial, you'll be able to animate written words in After Effects with ease. What's up everyone, this is Jordan Bertone with Sonduck Film. Be sure to like the video, it helps us out a ton, and let's get started. In After Effects, when you want to animate text being written out, what you usually need to do is select the pen tool and actually trace out the entire written word like this. Unless you actually like to suffer and prefer animating text this way, there's actually a much simpler way to do this. The first thing we'll do is get our word set up in Illustrator and then transferred in to After Effects. Here I have our word written out and it's important that we use a thin script font like this. If you're looking for a similar font, you can actually go on the Adobe Fonts website, sort by script, sort by thin weighting, and you'll see a bunch of fonts similar to this one. Once you have your font picked and a word written out, what we'll do is highlight the text, go to Object, Rasterize, click OK, click the drop down next to Image Trace, select Line Art, and click Expand. Now our text layer is a shape and ready to be transferred. Highlight the shape, press Ctrl-C to copy it, then head over to After Effects, go to Layer, New, Shape Layer, open up that shape layer, select Add, Stroke, highlight the new stroke, and press Ctrl-V to paste our text from Illustrator into it. Now open Masks and you'll see that each letter of the word has a color associated with it. What we want to do is put the masks in order by color so that they animate properly. You can see the color of C and the same color as a mask, so we want that one to be first, then put the next color second, the next color third, and then keep doing this until you have all the masks in order according to their color on the composition. Next, we'll go up to Effect, Generate, Stroke, enable the All Masks checkbox, set the brush size to 10, and now we have our word fully transferred into After Effects as a stroke layer instead of having to trace it. Next, we're going to animate our text and add a staggered gradient effect to the animation. You can see in the Effect Controls panel, when I change the end of the stroke, our text animates in letter by letter since we put them in order by color in the mask list. Set a keyframe for end at the start of the timeline, set end to 0%, move forward about 4 seconds on the timeline, and set end to 100%. Highlight the keyframes, press F9 to make them easy ease keyframes, then open the Graph Editor tool and pull both sides of the curve all the way inward to smooth out the animation. Now duplicate the animated word, stagger it on the timeline by a few frames like this. Next, we need a gradient, so go to Layer, New, Solid, click OK, then go to Effect, Generate, Four Color Gradient. I'm going to set the second color of this gradient to a bright red, the third color to a nice purple, then we need to put the position of each color next to each other in a line on the composition just like this. Feel free to use any combination of colors you want. The purpose of this is to have a four color gradient going across the screen to apply to our text. Take this gradient layer, put it in between our text layers, set the track mat of the gradient to the top text layer, change it from an alpha mat to a luma mat, and now we have a second animated stroke that takes on the color of our gradient we just made. You'll notice that you can see the white line bleeding through a bit though on the edge of the gradient, so just go to this first text layer and bring its brush size down by 1. And now you have this awesome animated text stroke with a staggered gradient effect. Lastly, we'll finish off our composition by adding a few embellishments to our written title. To add these embellishments, we will need to use the pen tool this time, so select it, make sure fill is set to none, stroke is set to solid color, we'll set the stroke width to around 20 or so, then just click and drag to create a short line that goes along the path of the text like this. Now open up that line layer, Contents, Shape 1, Stroke 1, Taper. We'll set the start and end of the taper to 100% so both sides of the line have a fine point. Then go to Add, Trim Paths. Open up the trim paths. We'll set the end to 0%, set a keyframe for end and start, move forward a bit on the timeline, set end and start to 100%, Offset the start keyframes by a few frames, make the keyframes easy ease, and smooth out their curves on the graph editor just like this. Now we can move on the timeline to where the main text goes past our line animation, and then move that line animation here so that it moves along the text like this. You can basically repeat this process as many times as you want, adding more lines along the edge of the title as it comes in to make the animation more dynamic. Lastly, we'll add a background and a quick reveal animation, so go to Layer, New, Solid, make sure the color is set to black, 
Click OK, then duplicate this solid, put one at the bottom of the layer list and one at the top. Highlight the bottom solid, go to Effect, Generate, Fill, set the color to a nice dark gray, highlight the top solid, press P for position, set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, move forward a bit on the timeline, then move the solid down and off the screen like this. Highlight those keyframes, make them easy ease, smooth out the curve in the graph editor, then to finish out the composition go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer, then Effect, Noise and Grain, Noise, set the noise to 7% and uncheck Use Color Noise. And you're done! A nice handwritten text animation using some awesome new techniques in both Illustrator and After Effects. To close out this video, as you may know, creating motion graphics can be incredibly time consuming. That's why we've made thousands of templates to help you save time and produce professional work with our Motion Duck extension. For example, you can easily preview templates from one of our packs and just click the apply button. Then you can quickly change the template parameters and you're done. So if you're looking to gain an edge within your work, check out every template we have for After Effects and Premiere Pro with the links below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more post-production tutorials every week and remember, always be creating.